In this episode, I'm going to talk about the history of the floppy disk from the original 8 inch and the 5 and a quarter inch to the more familiar 3 and a half inch variant. It all started in 1967 when IBM initiated work to replace punch cards that eventually led to the creation of the first floppy disk and disk drive. The objective was a read-only device costing less than $200 US at the time and a medium costing less than $5 each. During the development, the disks were bare, but dirt became a serious issue so IBM enclosed it in a plastic envelope lined with fabric that would remove dust particles. The first commercial release was in 1971, called the 23FD. It was an 8-inch or 20-centimeter rectangular format with a capacity of a mere 80 kilobytes of data that was read-only. However, IBM reached their goal as a single disk could replace 3,000 punch cards. The following year, Memorex started selling the Memorex 650 read-write floppy disk drive, which had a capacity of 175 kilobytes. In 1973, IBM caught up and surpassed Memorex with the release of the 33FD, which was read-write capable with a storage capacity of 250 and a quarter kilobytes. However, a company called Shugart Associates went on to become the dominant manufacturer of 8-inch floppy disk drives, with its SA800 becoming the industry standard. By 1976, IBM introduced a 500 kilobyte double-sided single-density disk, or DSSD, which was followed up a year later by the 1.2 megabyte double-sided double-density format, or DSDD. In 1978, a typical 8-inch floppy disk drive would cost 8 US dollars, which in 2021 would be about $30. Interesting and to a certain extent scary fact, the US Air Force finally retired the usage of the 8-inch floppy disk in June of 2019. They were being used by the Strategic Automated Command and Control System to send out emergency action messages to U.S. nuclear forces worldwide. Despite the system being old, the U.S. Air Force deemed that it was unhackable and was a tried and tested system. They have now been replaced with solid-state disks or SSDs. Shugert started working on a smaller 5 and a quarter inch floppy disk in 1976, which initially could hold 98 and a half kilobytes and was later increased to 113 kilobytes. The initial drive, the SA400, went on sale for 400 US dollars, or about 2,000 in 2021, and a box of 10 discs for 60 dollars, or about 300 dollars in 2021. Success of the new drive was so high that at one point, Shugart was producing over 4,000 drives per day. By 1978, the company Tandem released the double-sided double density DSDD disk which would hold 360 kilobytes. During the 1980s quad density disks were released which increased the capacity to 720 kilobytes. In 1978 a typical five and a quarter inch disk would cost a dollar fifty US which in 2021 would be about six dollars. By the end of the 1980s the five and a quarter inch disk had been phased out with the introduction of the three and a half inch floppy. The 3.5 inch floppy disk was invented by Sony in 1981, however it failed to take off due to the high success of the 5.25 inch disk. In 1982, the Microfloppy Industry Committee, a collection of 23 media companies, agreed upon the 3.5 inch standard based on the Sony disk with slight alterations. Initially, the single sided drives released in 1983 had a capacity of just 360 kilobytes. In 1984, Apple released the Macintosh, which used the drive, and soon after, in 1985, Atari followed suit with the release of the ST line of computers, and Commodore for the new Amiga platform. Just like the other disk sizes, capacity increased over time to double-density 720 kilobyte disks. In 1987, the high-density HD disks then followed with 1.44 megabytes of capacity. Extra high-density disks, ED, with 2.88 megabytes was also released on the Next Cube, Next Station, 
and the IBM PS2 model 57. However, the format never became widely adopted. By the early 2000s, the LS240, a 3.5 inch super disc, was released with a whopping 240.75 megabyte. However, by 2010, Sony, which owned 70% of what was left of the market, announced that it was stopping the manufacture of 3.5 inch discs. You might be surprised to know that the floppy disk is still in use today. A good example is the Boeing 747 Jumbo Jet, who needs to have its navigation data updated every 28 days, and this is done via the 3.5 inch floppy disk, even in 2021. Perhaps the greatest impact of the floppy disk was to the IT industry. Up until the late 70s, most software applications for tasks such as word processing and accounting was written by the computer owners themselves. But the floppy disk changed all of that and companies could now write programs, put them on disk and sell them, creating a whole new software industry. But like all technologies, the floppy disk gave way to the writable CD and DVD, USB keys and now cloud storage. Most people today only know it by its icon in the save menu or an, of an application or a game. A testament to the popularity of the floppy disk back in its heyday. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, thanks for watching.